Reports. A couple says they are victims of a hit and run, and they believe racing was involved. They need your help tracking down the suspects. New tonight, they tell ABC 10's Van 2, the emergency response added insult to injury. This is the wreck of a rental car. Charles Rosenberg and Liam Goff say they somehow escaped from alive. I can't get the sound of him screaming out of my head. They say a street racer traveling around 100 miles per hour clipped them on the capital city freeway just after 5.30 p.m. Saturday, flipping the car multiple times and through a fence. Every single airbag was deployed. Um, but we couldn't see anything. It just became like a white coffin. Landing upside down, the doors jammed against the concrete on Auburn Boulevard near Howe Avenue until good Samaritans rushed to their aid. Saved by some angel of a passerby who broke our window open with a metal water bottle and then pulled us out of the car. The couple say they suffer from multiple lacerations and severe bruising, but their invisible wounds have been made worse by emergency response. They were then telling him to Uber to the hospital and to find his own way to the hospital. We were in the same car accident. It took them almost 20 minutes to get to us. It was accusatory the whole time. The hospital, they were just, they left me in a room screaming several times by myself. The couple who were fundraising for the LGBT Center at the State Fair say their livelihoods are now impacted due to their fear of getting behind a wheel. They're speaking out, hoping the driver can be held accountable and people who experience similar traumatic events can get better care. Now, we did reach out to CHP, but we have not heard back. Meanwhile, we just received a response from Dignity Health. They say the care and safety of our patients is always our top priority, and we take this matter very seriously. As we were made aware of these patient experiences this evening for the first time, we are now in the process of conducting a thorough investigation of the matter. As we work to learn more, please know that we are committed to providing an equitable, safe, and compassionate environment for all who seek care at our facility.